Hey guys, Julian here, and in today's video, I wanna share with you five tips for low light photography. Now, I recently shared these five tips over on the Canon Australia Instagram page, but I thought I'd make this little video for you guys here on YouTube so that I could delve into each tip with just that little bit more detail. So without wasting any time, let's jump straight into tip number one, and that is shoot raw. By shooting raw as opposed to JPEG, it just gives you so much more scope when it comes to post-production. By shooting raw, that image file retains so much more information, allowing you to increase the exposure by a stop or two, as well as bringing out a lot of detail that can often get lost in the shadows or the blacks of an image. Moving straight on to tip number two, and that is to increase your ISO. Now, I know this sounds like a simple one, but I know many photographers when starting out, myself included, are too scared to push their ISO too high at the risk of creating an image with a lot of digital noise or grain in it. But in my opinion, a little bit of noise is far better than having a blurry or out of focus image because your shutter has been too slow or your aperture too wide and your depth of field too shallow. Modern day cameras are also really great at handling a higher ISO, particularly if you're using a mirrorless camera or a full frame DSLR. Moving on to your next point, and that is to slow your shutter speed. By slowing down the shutter speed, it allows more light to hit the sensor in turn, giving you a brighter image. Now, as a general rule of thumb, if shooting handheld, the slowest you want your shutter speed is to be one over 50th of a second. If you're going any slower than that, you may want to rest your camera on something or the obvious option is to use a tripod and two second timer or remote trigger. By using a tripod, you're reducing the risk of any movement of the camera while the shutter is open, which will give you a blurry image. On the note of using a tripod and reducing the risk of any movement of the camera, leads me to my next tip, and that is to reduce camera shake. Now, there are a couple of ways to do this if a tripod isn't an option. And the first of those is to think about your body positioning or body's posture. Now, what I can recommend is by creating more anchor points between yourself and the camera. And to do this, some of my advice would be to keep your elbows tucked in nice and tight. Don't use the LCD screen, use the viewfinder instead by having the camera up to your eye, you're increasing another touch point, another anchor point between yourself and the camera, just keeping it a little bit more sturdy than if you're holding it out in front of you where your arms and hands could move or shake around a little. In addition to these points, you can lean on something, lean on a wall, a tree, a pole, whatever may be around you on the location that you're shooting. My last tip for shooting in low light is to nail that focus. Now, your autofocus or autofocus assist can often struggle in low light situations. So there are a couple of things you can do to help make sure that your image is tack sharp. The first of those is to use a torch to get focus. By lighting up your subject, you can then half press your shutter, allow the camera's autofocus to work nicely, switch it to manual, and you'll be locked in on that focal point or that area that you lit up with the torch. A second way to get a nice sharp image without relying on the autofocus is to shoot with a live view, zoom in digitally on your focal point, and then use the manual focus on your camera to make sure that image is nice and sharp. So that's it, really nice, quick, simple tips. If there are any tips that you think I've missed out on, make sure you leave them down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, help me out with a like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for pressing play.